welcome to the Lantern Friday Edition webcast. I'm Molly Gray, the arts editor, and I will be your host. You can find us every Friday at www.thelantern.com. With school starting this week, Ohio State health officials have been preparing diligently for what they are calling an uncertain flu season. Lantern staff reporter Tom Knotts had reported earlier this week that the university has been planning for a possible H1N1 outbreak since May. They are recommending that six students skip work and class and wear a mask if they must be around other people. To help combat an out outbreak, the university has ordered a flu vaccine that will be available in mid-October. People who are especially at risk will be considered for the early vaccine. Those people, pregnant women, healthcare workers, caretakers of children younger than six months, and those with compromised immune systems or chronic health conditions. The headache that is 315 travel is soon to be over and earlier than expected. Campus editor Michelle Sullivan reported on Wednesday that construction on State Route 315 will conclude sooner than originally scheduled and thanks to favorable weather and a rigorous schedule. By October 3rd, all three lanes on both northbound and southbound 315 will be open, as well as all entrance and exit ramps, according to Nancy Burton of the Ohio Department of Transportation. If you've been on South Campus this week, you might have noticed some changes to Mirror Lake Cafe. The South Campus dining facility has been renovated and renamed Mirror Lake Creamery and Grill. Along with their usual menu of subs, they now offer burgers, fries, and milkshakes. We will now hear from Zach Meisel, sports editor, about what we can expect from the Buckeyes this weekend. Zach? Thanks, Molly. The Ohio State football team welcomes Illinois to the shoe on Saturday. The game at 3.30 p.m. The Illini at 1-1. One one. They just defeated two weeks ago Illinois State 47-15. Illini led by quarterback Juice Williams. Williams missed that victory with a strained quadricep. He is expected to play Saturday against the Buckeyes. For the Buckeyes, starting right tackle Jim Cordell still out with a sprained ankle. He should be back in a few weeks. Starting punter Jonathan Toma will play. He missed last week's victory over Toledo with the flu. The Illini defeated Ohio State in 2007, 28-21, when the Buckeyes were ranked number one in the country at 10-0. Last year, Ohio State knocked off Illinois in Champaign 30-20, so the Buckeyes looking to make it two straight wins over the Illini. Back to you, Molly. Thanks, Zach. The athletic department has also issued a security reminder stating that heightened security measures will still be enforced this weekend and to expect extra delays if you plan on coming to the game with a bag or purse. I've been Molly Gray for TheLantern.com. For the whole story, check out our website or pick up, a, pick up a copy of The Lantern next week. We'll now roll out with footage from this week's Welcome Week activities. See you next Friday. Here at the Buckeye Frenzy. It's a great place to get to know campus and um, get lots of free stuff and free food. All right, so my name is Seb Ross. I'm Vice President for UAB. Uh, coming out here for Buckeye Frenzy has been great. A uh, ton of people out here. It's a great publicity for our organization. Uh, a couple of things we do, we bring a lot of free concerts, free comedians here to campus. Uh, we give away a lot of free tickets. Um, we're bringing Third Eye Blind, Kings of Leon, different events throughout the quarter. 